Breaking news. Use NYSC members to fight Boko Haram bandits. If they don't want to, let them serve without pay. Hello, my wonderful people. Your governor, Ekiti. Ekiti Ado, Ekiti Do, your governor is speaking. He said the new people that should be fighting bandits is not the army or the soldiers. It should be young boys and girls who have finished from education, who should be looking and beaming up to life. They should be the one now carrying guns and knives and going to fight in a battle. People you have not trained to fight. Armies are trained to fight. Oh. They said the people who have been in school, eh, their parents borrowed, they should be carrying their caskets back home. This is what, uh, you know, the person who he wants to be president as well. Oh. He was at some point still, you know, shaving the shoulder with uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. That's the person that wants to be president. Anyway, my press, my people, he said, well, you see that, you see the girl, the way the girl's hand is. She should go. I just imagine when I was seven, I should go and be fighting. But <laughs> my God, Nigeria, don't finish. God will help us. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Use NYC members to fight with Aram bandits. If they refuse to fight, they should work without pay. Fire me, tells Buhari. Governor Kayo De Fayemi has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to turn NYC camp into security training ground to rescue willing and able graduates to join the military and police. Fayemi pointed out that one of the cheapest and fastest way to handle this was to amend, amend the law setting up the National Youth Service Camp. If NYC cops are converted into soldiers, they could be deployed to fight against Boko Haram, bandits, separationists all over. With this, we can use the existing orientation camp to train willing and able graduates to fight and protect the security of this nation. Under a special arrangement that will work out, the Kitty State Governor has said. That way, the fund that is currently deployed to the NYC can be used with some additional funding, which could be sourced through national emergency fund for the next five to ten years. Those who cannot join the military service can serve in the community without pay. If we must still retain the NYC for everybody. Just in June, Shabo Shaibu Ibrahim, the NYC Director General, has said COP members were on reserve for war as they are part of the Nigerian national defense policy and could be mobilized for war. Mr. Fayemi explained that steps were necessary and a cheaper way to get 200 security personnel needed by Nigeria to tackle the worsening security. By availing strategies, we need a minimum of 200 personnel to boost the fighting power of our men, stated the Ekiti State Governor. This number is very large and potential financial and logistic nightmare, he added. Yet, we cannot deny any further. The ungoverned space needed to be closed up quickly by motivating men with a singular objective to serve the nation. This that takes up the number of the financial body from the nation. So they are serving and they are also core members. The government maintained that there are two things that can quickly be addressed to bring the current wave of insecurity to a halt. We need to have a conversation on how we can recruit a large number of persons to join the police and military, even in a short time service. A Kitty State Governor has stressed. Last July, Governor Isiak of Taraba has, and has expressed a similar thought, stating that NYC should be a two-year program to give core members military training so that they can also fight for the nation. So, very soon, NYC will be full of young boys and girls who will be fighting for the nation, who will be going out to do one thing or the other to fight for the nation bottom line and so this is the new wave and the new move of things currently ongoing so my people is happening nyc as we speak now a uh, lot of persons are coming up those in position are saying that they should become fighting instruments 
rather than leaving them just there. So NYC members should go on and be used as a fighting new equipment. It should become the new people that should be used, you know, to fight. You're talking about, you know, young people that just finished school, that are looking forward to getting jobs and all that. These people sit in exalted position, spending the money that they did not work for, doing all kinds of things. And all they are talking about is that people's children, guess what? Remember, uh, what's it called? Ganduji. When uh, uh, ESCC invited uh, her and she refused to show up, what was her excuse? She went to attend her son's graduation in the UK. So another man head, Nagarawa, another man head, another man picking, neither would say do the fighting. Their own children, please go and investigate. Oh. If you are in Ekiti, I would like to know where the Ekiti state governor children are schooling. Are they schooling in any of the universities in Ekiti state? Are they going to any of the schools in Ekiti state or are they in any university in the, in the country? I would like to know. Honestly, I would like to know because the new wave and the new wave of things now going on is that uh, the, the students should be used, okay, as the new fighting equipment, new fighting tools to fight Boko Haram. Now, this is a, because, you know, the, let me tell you something. It's another way to, to deplete the number of the southern youths. Remember the way NYC is? If you are from the south, they deploy you to the north. If you are from the north, they deploy you to the south. Now in the south, there is no fight for Boko Haram. So the north will come here. They are you to be preserved. Why those are our young graduates? Don't forget that the north, they don't like going to school. Though. They enter school in 120, uh, what should I call them? NY, uh, uh, YEC and uh, JAM. Why do one when you get 300? Let's make it go fight so that it go die. Then they'll be killing the youth of the south. Guys, wake up. Don't let anybody deceive you. Wake up. Let your eyes be open. There is an evil going on. And everybody cannot pretend and be silent and think that all is well. Listen, all is not well. So the southern youth should be the ones that should go and die in the north. Why the northern youth should be the ones that should come to the south and if it treats, you don't understand what's going on. If you know you will understand what we are talking about. There is more to this, so uh -huh. like the adage goes, all that glitters is no gold. Wake up, be wise. Wake up and be and be aware of what is happening. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.